guys, I'm Hannah at the Handlebar Cafe on Nantucket in Massachusetts. Welcome to the second part in our series on home brewing. If you missed the first part on grinding options, click here. There are many different types of brewing methods, but today we're going to cover three, the Chemex, the Aeropress, and the French press, and compare them with price, effort, and time spent brewing. This is the Chemex. There are many different types of pour overs. We're going to go over this one today because we offer this at the handlebar. The vessel is fairly expensive, plus you have to keep in mind the added cost of the filters. It's pretty easy to use and easy to learn and takes about five minutes to brew. So to brew, you put the paper filter into the Chemex, rinse the filter using hot water, dump the water, add your pre-measured ground coffee, and pour the water over the grinds. Overall, I rate the Chemex a thumbs down for cost, a thumbs up for effort, and a thumbs down for time. Next, we have the Aeropress. It's a vacuum sealed, paper filtered brew method. It's inexpensive. It takes a fair amount of knowledge and effort to be able to brew it, but the brew time is short at around two minutes. The first step is to rinse the filter and prep the Aeropress to hold the grinds. Once you've dumped the water, you're ready to put the grinds into the vessel. Remove the funnel and you're ready to add the hot water. We want to put the plunger on to prevent the coffee from going into the cup before it's done brewing. There are many ways you can brew the Aeropress. For this method, we're waiting about a minute before we plunge the coffee. So once the coffee is brewed, you're ready to plunge the coffee into your cup. And once all the air is out, your coffee is brewed and ready to enjoy. Overall, I rate the Aeropress a thumbs up for price, a thumbs down for effort, and a thumbs up for time. Next, we have the French press. There's no paper filter like the other two brew methods, so it's a one-time investment. It ranges in price, it's very easy to use, and takes about five minutes to brew. As with the other brew methods, the first thing you wanna do is preheat the vessel and dump out your rinse water. Then you put in your pre-measured ground coffee and add the water. You put the lid on just enough to make sure all the grinds are immersed. And when it's ready, the final step is to push down the strainer all the way to the bottom. Overall, I rate the French press a neutral thumb for cost, a thumbs up on effort, and a thumbs down on time. Now that we've seen three different brew methods and compared them, you can decide which method is best for you and your lifestyle. Keep in mind the best cup of coffee you can get is at your local coffee shop. Thanks for watching and to see our first video on grinding options, click here and to subscribe to our channel, click here.